You're being chased by space pirates again? Look at that! Oh! Ethan and Emily plushie. <laughs> Comment down below whether you want to see the ruby treasure scene or the seashell scene. Happy Tuttle Tuesday, everybody. And happy Easter week. May the Tuttle Bunny leave you graphic novels in your baskets. It's not making a commercial. Fine. <laughs> Although Derek as a Tuttle Bunny is a great merchandising idea. That's true. Copyright Johnny. <laughs> We're very excited to be here. Um, before I forget, make sure you comment where you're watching from so that the algorithm can push this out to more people and help spread the show. And speaking of someone who was spreading diseases, Johnny's back. <laughs> Disease free. New and improved. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Right, but, uh, <laughs> glad to be back. Um, I love you guys. And I just wanted to read one thing that I came across the other, the other week. Um, this is from a fan. He said, this is amazing. My son just finished eighth grade, and this year was civics slash government slash economics. Sounds familiar. Mm -hmm. I think your show either taught him more or closed any gaps he had from his classes. My daughter, who finished second grade, actually understands the freedom-loving topics from your episode and can't wait to watch another. Seriously, where was this show when I was a kid? Yes, I've watched all the episodes, too. <laughs> That's great. Keep up the great work. I would love your show to beat out The Simpsons for the longest-running TV show ever. I can't wait for this show to outlast The Simpsons. One season down, only 33 more to go, and an untimely Simpsons freak accident would help as well. <laughs> One can dream. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. But it's not just the show. We've been hearing from so many of you that your kids are loving the graphic novels too. It's just such a fun, screen-free way of learning these principles. I know my kids absolutely love them. Yeah, mine do too. And because of this... And because it's tax month, the worst month of the year, <laughs> we are throwing a tax, taxes stink sale. You can get the entire 12 book collection for just $99 at TuttleTwins.store. This is literally our best deal ever. Yes, we've never sold all the books at that price before. And so this is amazing. And do you know what else is what else? in the store? What else is in the store? Please, look look at that! <laughs> oh, Ethan and Emily plushies. We've only been like priming this for like a year and, and a <laughs> half. Right. No big deal. No big deal. Just dragging you all along, but they are available to order right now. Um, they've shipped. They're almost here, and we'll be shipping them out later in just like a couple of weeks for those of you that are placing your orders right now. So let's check this out. It's a transformer. <laughs> this one as well. Look at this. Look at. A little scary. I went but, to college. I mean, <laughs> I've got a really stressful job. Just, <laughs> I work for the IRS. Versatile. But Ethan back the way. <laughs> that is not Ethan's voice, John. I don't know if you're, you're aware. Okay. It, it goes really high when he's stressed. Um, and speaking of, so the Derek plushies, they're already sold out on the site. Mm -hmm. These are going to go fast. So get your Tuttle Twin plushies uh, while you can. Yeah, while supplies last. While supplies last. This episode, like others, has a hidden golden gummy and a bunch of other fun surprises that are um, all on this episode's adventure page. And you can scan the QR code that's on the screen or go to angel.com slash adventure page to download that for free. And if you find the golden gummy, you can tell us about it at angel.com slash golden gummy or scan the QR code. And just a reminder that you must use angel.com slash golden gummy to submit no emails like we did for season one. And as always, after the episode, we'll announce the five Golden Gummy winners, and you'll all get a free graphic novel of your choice. So everyone else who isn't randomly selected will still get a special discount code that will make these graphic novels even better. Yeah, deal. or you can use it for <laughs> these guys. <laughs> all right. Um, also, um, a better deal than what's on the site. So yep. um, thank you for participating in the Golden Gummy contest. All right. Um, okay, what do we have next here? Oh, yeah. Uh, make sure to stick around after the episode, right? Because we have a really cool interview coming up with Alex Elkin, the voice of Derek, where you're actually going to help us make a Tuttle Tale. So this is a whole new story that Alex and Johnny will act out as their screen characters. And you are the writer of this story. To help us write the story, comment below with the name of a hilarious object and something you would yell if you, say, found bugs in your birthday cake. Please keep it kid-friendly, though. Kid-friendly. <laughs> and finally, also after the episode, we're going to show a sneak peek of episode three, Bitcoin and the Beast. <gasps> 
That's right. <laughs> um, which comes out along with a very special surprise on May 2nd. As always, you get to choose which you get to choose which clip we're going to watch. So comment down below whether you want to see the ruby treasure scene or the seashells scene. Again, comment ruby treasure or seashells. Tell us which clip you want to see. And that's everything. Without further ado, enjoy season two, episode two. Don't trash success. We're being chased by space pirates again? Technically, they're Surlin just now. Power Conga! Well, hopefully they're still lactose intolerant. <laughs> Wait, they like pizza now? And they have turtle shells. <laughs> so we're running from knockoffs of the Teenage Mutant? No! But they look exactly like me, niños! It's a very important legal distinction. Look out! <gasps> Eric, we need a portal! <laughs> oh, what is that smell? Who's hungry for trash pizza? <laughs> trash can? <laughs> I'm a literal garbage man. <laughs> what, not funny? I've heard it before. Uh, yeah, Emily, it's called recycling. <laughs> yeah. That was good. I'm glad you guys are working on your stand-up routine, but can you get off of my head so we can get out of the trash? Sorry, but since Korean is always watching us, we need to be more discreet with how we come and go on our adventures. Y'all right, fine. But if we're going to be using this trash can for any reason, we have to clean it. Great idea. Grandma out. I'll help. My mom says I'm an expert on trash because I watch reality TV. Previously on The Patchlet. I've known you 20 minutes, but let's get married. I only have I for you. They patch their lives together in holy patrimony. Ah, <sighs> more pristine than my school attendance record. Guten Tag! Hello, Hello Mr. Mr. Frankenstein. Frankenstein! I'll pay you ten dollars to wash my trash cans, too. Mine stinks of sauerkraut casserole. Uh, well, we've done worse for ten bucks. Whoever drinks it gets ten bucks. We've done worse for ten bucks. Whoever jumps in gets ten bucks. We've done worse for ten bucks. Whoever gives me twenty bucks gets ten bucks. I know it's a bad deal, but we've done worse. Why are you telling me this? Sorry, I get lost in my storytelling. He means we'll take the job. Wunderbar. Let's get to work. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Shane, for providing this service. You have made my day so much easier. I will call you again after sauerkraut and schnitzel night. Okay, bye. Ooh. We helped someone and we got paid? Yes. And me. Look. At the lettuce in your hair? Look. 
Are you thinking what I'm thinking? We should blend up the trash and see if people will pay us ten bucks to drink it. <laughs> no. There are over 100 houses in our neighborhood. If we make $10 cleaning each garbage can, we'd make $1,000. $1,000? That's like a million dollars! I can smell the money. And I can see hooded figures in my room when I sleep. of money. Maybe we should invest in new equipment. <gasps> Upgrade! Hey everybody, that was a lot of fun and we apologize to parents right off the bat for how much that song is going to be stuck in your kids' heads <laughs> and sung, <laughs> sung around the house. Here we have our official titles, Daniel Harmon description. He is our description. <laughs> um, guys, we are so happy to be back with you. Um, gosh, uh, yeah, it's so fun to be on Tuttle Twins, and we're so happy that you're here with us. And uh, to my kids who think that this is FaceTime, hi, Bennett and Nora. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the cool things I want to highlight about that episode is there is a lot in culture out there about hating on people that are successful. And obviously we're put it, pro providing a little bit of pushback on that, that if you're running a good, honest business and you're serving a ton of people, that's something to be admired and celebrated and not something to you know, look down on. So that's kind of what this episode was about. But the next time your neighbor complains about Amazon, Jeff Bezos while ordering their groceries from Amazon, <laughs> you know, send him this episode. Here's a little ammo for you. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So let's cover a couple things here. First off, a reminder angel.com slash Tuttle Piff. Tuttle Piff. Piff stands for um, pay it forward. So um, if you go there and you pay it forward, and I think this, uh, what's the total? What do they need to pay it for? Uh, for the just, early access? Yeah, the early access is only $50. You'll get early access to the entire Tuttle season. Um, actually, the Friday before it airs. Yes, so it's like a Tuttle Friday instead of a Tuttle Tuesday. But it's yeah, got a ring to it. Early access for the entire season, um, or you can pay it forward any amount so that m this can go out to more people. And thank you to those of you that have already been doing that. That's very helpful for the continued success of the show. And make sure to stick around until the end. We're going to be showing a sneak peek of our next episode, Bitcoin and the Beast. And uh, so stay around to the end. And we're also going to be announcing our Golden Gummy winners a little bit later. Yep. Absolutely. Okay, so... The next thing. Yep. Taxes yes. stink sale. As a reminder, yep. it's going to be going now until tax day. You, if you order these, uh, these are the cheapest these graphic novels have ever been. Um, like, pretty awesome price. If you order them between now and tax day, we're going to be giving you a free sticker pack and a free communist to offend patch. Yep. Uh, so you guys are going to love those. And again, these are now available for order as well. Um, and there's a little bit of a discount, I think, when you bundle them. Yeah, when Is you bundle them, yeah. you get 20% off. And we've already seen a few people do that. So uh, thank you guys so much. These yep. uh, little twins need to be adopted. <laughs> <laughs> Many times over. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so uh, are we going to do Tuttle Tales? Is that yeah, is? and okay. I guess without further ado, the next segment is Tuttle Tales. We are going to be bringing on the voice of your favorite trash panda, <laughs> special guest, Alex Elkin. That's right. Welcome, Alex. Can you hear us? Hey, you guys. Yeah, there you are. Al Alex okay, good. Uh, uh, you're not a raccoon. <laughs> this is really. You're I know uh, the, the the kids' minds are blown. They're, they're like, how come Hagrid from Harry Potter is doing the raccoon's voice? 
true. How do you, how are you reading my rap, my mind right now? <laughs> no, I don't. It's too much. Right but it's been kind yes. enough to join us, and we're, we're very grateful for you taking time out to do this. And um, just a little bit of like, a little bit of backstory on how we found Alex. Like there was, we put out auditions for for Derek, and there was a ton of different auditions. And I felt like Alex, when we heard your voice, it was like, okay, this guy gets it. And I believe his voice was coming from a dumpster. It wasn't even an audition. <laughs> yeah, it right. was just like. Because that's where they found me. Yeah, yeah. but. Interesting story. Yeah. <laughs> is is this your first well, time yeah. doing a major, uh, being a ma major character in a cartoon? Uh, yes. Yeah. I haven't. Uh, <laughs> I I haven't done any major cartoons uh, before, so it's a first. <laughs> awesome. G give the, give our audience just a little bit of your background. Uh, well, that's a lamp. <laughs> uh, that I'm sitting in a reclining chair, and that's mostly drywall. Uh, no, I, uh, I started out as a stand-up comedian. Uh, I started when I was 14 years old. I won the San Francisco Comedy Competition, which kind of launched me out of the map. And uh, I was lucky enough to uh, find you guys. And once we turned off the camera and they just listened to me, they, they knew they had the right pick. Uh, that's usually how I get most of my je jobs, which is in the dark, uh, where they can't see this this uh but uh it's just a black I, uh, screen that says alex <laughs> and you're yeah, good to go that's right that's not even my real name so i uh, <laughs> i travel all over doing stand-up comedy i work for uh i do uh, uh stand-up comedy in atlanta i do comedy on cruise ships uh not the good ones carnival uh but uh i uh, i love what i do i have a great family so hello mama and amadeus and elizabeth and aaron and aj and everybody and cornbread and huckleberry so <laughs> awesome you got kids That's in your me. Own, which is really fun i do so, i got i got three so we have three beautiful chi well we have three children and uh they're, they're just wonderful <laughs> okay. awesome. two beautiful ones all right well you know who you are let's jump into this tuttle tales here so for context guys we are going to be you are going to be riding an uh, an episode of tuttle twins and alex and i will be acting it out Daniel will be narrating. Yes. But the way you're going to write it is we're going to need some audience participation. You're yes. going to need to – Daniel's going to go through some prompts. If you've ever played Mad Libs, this will ring a bell. So write in the comments answers to these props. Try and be funny. Whatever. Try and be <laughs> random. Try and be yourself. Or do just it. do the do first thing that comes to mind. As long first as thing that comes to as mind. As long as it's kid-friendly. No swears. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. Um, first off, give us a song. So here's some examples. Yeah, Baby you Shark, know. Jingle Bells, the National Anthem, but just oh, type oh, in a song. Oh, 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 oh. Call me maybe. <laughs> <laughs> what are kids into these days? Whatever you guys want. Yeah, uh, okay. Kids, are, oh, yeah, kids are listening to Green Day all this. Uh, that, that's what kids are into, right? <laughs> it's, all, it's all Green Day all day. <laughs> all right, all. next one. Okay, here we go. Um, a noise, a bark, a meow, a laugh, anything like that will do. Could be... This, <laughs> um, I don't know what a that slap. is. A tap. Mm. Ah, um, ah, don't do that. Squelch. <laughs> right in the comments, kids. Here we go. The kids Next don't know one. what squelches are. What are the <laughs> CB radios? <laughs> this is going to be pretty rapid fire, so just get ready in the comments. First thing that comes to mind. Here First we go. Thing. Give us an action. You can run, sit, chop, punch, <laughs> violently bite, kick, vote. <laughs> vote. So much. <laughs> What's an action? All Rem right. Remember, here we go. Okay. Um, next one. Give us a lesson from the show. All right. Inflation hurts a nation. Inflation what have you learned from the show? What are go. some things you've learned? Yeah. Me? I mean, that, uh, what I've learned? Go ahead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it, they've learned lots of things. I don't know who. I, I've, learned, uh, I, I've, I've learned that uh, I need to turn the gain down when I'm recording. I've learned all <laughs> kinds of uh, little tidbits. I learned that I could get up into ranges I had no idea about. <laughs> okay. yeah. And it doesn't have to be all the rhyming little tidbits in the show. It could yeah. just be whatever comes to what, mind. What have you learned from Tuttle Twins? There we go. Okay. Um, give us a small object. Toaster, lamp, backpack, plush toy. Bucks. 100 bucks. Water bottle, pen. Oh. $100. Thank you for Dentures. fixing his hair, by the way, Johnny. That was uh, <laughs> that was really creepy. He, he looked like he needed to be in his bathrobe and Crocs watering his lawn. Yeah, yeah. yeah this, is, I, this I, is Ben Franklin, Ethan. It's a two-in-one. <laughs> yeah, right. Retiree Ethan. Here we go. <laughs> no, really, I enjoy ginger ale. <laughs> <laughs> Next, um, a fictional character. Goblins. Make this one weird. Come on, shoot for the stars. Bigfoot, a troll. Um, 
Alex. I'm sorry, you're talking. <laughs> you're talking to somebody from the Pacific Northwest. You're going to throw Bigfoot as a fictional character. You better be ready, be ready to throw hands. I'll tell you, buddy. Don't come up here with that noise. It's fighting words right there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it a, is. Yeah. A noun: freedom, chocolate, pants. Freedom pants. <laughs> freedom. Freedom pants. chocolate. Chocolate <laughs> pants. pants. I would wear those. <laughs> I, I don't pants. know how long they last, but I would I would wear freedom chocolate pants. Please somebody write <laughs> communists. I really want that one for some reason. Continuing on, we're getting here to the end. Okay, give us an adjective. So small, frothy, comfortable. Punchable. Is that an adjective? Punchable? We, we, we could do uh, a soft, sure. it could be hard, it could be uh deadly. Oh yeah. Pointy. Mm -hmm. Bubble bubbly. Yeah. Bubbly. Gurgly. Gurgly, yes. All right. There we go. Moving on. Green. Give us a color. Red, gold, purple, um, puce. That puce. is a color. <laughs> um, like let's puce. see. Turquoise, whatever. Just type something is that in. A we're, color? Just, we're just naming colors. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was yes, a we rock. know our colors. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Here we go. Moving on. Something loud. A drill. A uh, little a, bro, a little bro, a big bro, a big bro, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. a, a, a feral at 6 a.m. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's Moving true. on. It's not all, all of you have to participate in all of these. So we're just gonna keep going. Give yeah. us lo a location: Miami, La Mall, under the bed, um, in my heart, in your heart, in your mind, under your arm. <laughs> under your arm <laughs> in the sky detroit <laughs> detroit oh Cleveland. no 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 let's give us good let's give a good keep location it, keep, keep okay friendly. here we go give us what do you what do you do when you're bored okay eat trash out of the fridge <laughs> what do you do when you're bored kids do you Primarily eat trash that. out of the fridge what other things they I took the only one that came to mind for me do you deflate yourself i prefer yourself? my trash chilled <laughs> like like okay. my Fiji water, I like it chilled. Uh, there we go. De Laos is that what it's called? Okay, um, give us something you'd find on a map: a mountains, plateau, forest, paper, stop sign. <laughs> is that on a map? Oh, it it's is. on Google Maps. The Shire. It's on a map. The Shire. <laughs> the Shire. New Zealand. Waterfalls. Mm-hmm. Atlantic Ocean. Okay, here we go. Whataburger. Uh, <laughs> Whataburger. Give us a sound effect. Ooh, a wham, a creak, a shing. Ooh, an onomatopoeia. I, 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 my favorite is the one we use often in Tuttle Twins is a whoosh. Whoosh. Like a whoosh. Also, like a, uh, yes. Uh huh. Swish. Uh huh. I tried to describe this today. What's a staccato slap? <laughs> a staccato slap. <laughs> like that. Okay, okay. Here we go. And oh, we've, used, okay. we've used that bottle one. All right, so now, real fast, a couple more questions <laughs> while we're getting the, the, the game You're all ready. You're creating your story. Let's ask, let's ask Alex, for example. Thanks for um, picking that flattering picture, by the way, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I do have professional headshots, but that's okay. I'll get you my email later. <laughs> all we could find was this, this cut-up piece of paper of, of the sepia <laughs> right? image of you. What? Somebody drew that. <laughs> Alex, what has been your favorite part about working on Tuttle Twins? Uh, absolutely, it's got to be the reach that we're doing and the good work we're doing in the minds of kids today. You know, they're going to be on their screens anyway. We can't avoid that, it seems like. And the fact that we're putting good stuff into their minds with also a little bit of humor that's over their heads so the parents can watch with them. I think that's my absolute favorite thing because my kids watch it and we watch it together. And I could see, uh, you know, my seven year old daughter wants to see it again and again and again. And she doesn't even care that it's Papa on there. Like, yeah, shh. I'm listening to Derek, you know, uh, <laughs> those kind of things are fantastic to me. I love that. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. A okay. lot of people don't know this, Alex, but apart from voicing Derek, you also, I think you voice almost a different character every episode. Yeah. Probably. It's yeah. or every other. At can least, can you, say. can you I, name off some of the characters you voiced? Uh, well, uh, I, I got to do Babe Ruth there. That was a lot of fun. Uh, oh, let's go. see. There was, uh, Oh yeah, uh, the president, uh, the, the little shorty, Madison. Uh, Madison. Yeah, I got. Oh, that was you. Uh, yeah, you that was Madison. yeah, that was a lot of fun. I didn't know that. Uh, yeah. Got, yeah, we got some episodes coming up that I'm voiced in. Uh, one of uh, yeah, I've I've had a lot of fun. So it's, it's monarch, been, it's the been monarch blasted. king. Oh, the yeah. Monarch King. That the was, you know, I I listened to that one and I couldn't even recognize myself. <laughs> I thought that was wonderful. That was good. That was good. Episode one. He was there. Episode one. Yeah, that's right. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So, uh, so, yeah, it's it's been a blast. 
Cool. It, it's been, yeah, it's obviously, your voice is so good. Yeah, you don't recognize it. I don't recognize it. Um, all right. You're telling me we're ready here. Okay, so. Let so, me see if I, can get I am going. going to, Alex, you're on the road as a, as a, com oh my gosh. As a comedian. Talk about things people, yeah, talk about things people don't know about. I also do stand-up comedy. <laughs> I'm going to, um, you don't have, you don't always travel with your Derek plushie. And so you, they're no. going to have to look at your face. But I am going to duck out a frame. Yes. And I, when I voice Ethan, I'm going to be puppeting this little guy. <laughs> so just imagine with Alex. Yeah, with Alex, just imagine a big raccoon face in front of him. And then, Alex, you'll see the cues there where, where you're Derek. And all right. the stuff here, um, I'm going to be narrating. So we'll just jump right into this. And I'm going to do my best. Try to the husky <laughs> Aquaman. There's nothing but a trash panda here. This is that's right, and I'm gonna do my best in a world voice. Okay, here we go. Nice. Oh, no, I'm not gonna nice. get crazy with it. Okay, the crazy rubber duck adventure, an audience crazy well, story, crazy with it. featuring Ethan and Derek, starring Alex Elkin as Derek the raccoon and Johnny Vance as Ethan. Okay, here we go. It was a squeaky summer day, and Ethan and Derek sat alone in the kids' club treehouse. Derek was, Derek was humming a slimy tune in his own raccoon sort of way. <laughs> the melody sounded a little like Africa, which was annoying to Ethan. Derek, it's so repetitive. Stop it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ah, well, there goes Emily off to rollerblade at her bedroom without us. <laughs> Looks like it's just you and me, Derek. Okay. Yeah, Derek, I'm not happy about it either, okay? Derek let out a moist noise that kind of resembled a firework trying to chop. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, this is going to be really oh, hard for me to narrate. Derek, go easy on that moist firework. Seriously. <laughs> I guess it's finally time to sift through all this old junk that Grandma donated to the kids' club. I think most of it's trash anyways. Oh, look at that. Derek perked up at the mention of trash, and so Ethan began to rummage through the large pile of stuff. There was a plushie, a creamy flag, and even a keyboard. <laughs> Great! What's this? Ethan said with surprise. He held up a cracked rubber duck with a large red button that slapped in the sunlight. Whoa! <laughs> a label on it read, Super Secret Prototype. Cool! I wonder if it still works! As Ethan became fixated on trying to get the special rubber duck working, Derek wandered over and began exploring the junk <laughs> that Grandma had left. <laughs> he, he devoured a puzzle. <laughs> um, a, a kind communist, I think that's what that says. You're going to eat a communist too there, Alex. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and even a picture of Daniel. <laughs> With a burp. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Derek! Uh, on the other side You're of the... You're donating those to Goodwill. <laughs> on the other side of the treehouse, Ethan was still tinkering when a tiny fuel gauge on the rubber duck caught his eye. Here we go. Wait, this thing is powered by knowledge juice? And there's still a drop left. What's something I've learned? Um, uh... Inflation hurts a nation. Okay. A knowledge, the knowledge juice began to grow. Okay, uh, what else? How about um, rich people aren't bad? <laughs> okay. That is a lesson. Okay, the knowledge juice grew a little bit more. <laughs> HOAs are full of communists. <laughs> I'm glad everyone is learning. This is fantastic. The rubber duck started to woof and headbutt. <laughs> Ethan pr proudly pressed the glowing red button. <gasps> Boom. Nothing happened. Ah. Then suddenly a portal appeared above them, and the world flipped upside down, dr um, dropping them down through the ceiling into a land of chocolate Whataburger. Ah! <laughs> Sounds delicious. <laughs> they, they landed with dream. a shashing. Um, <laughs> the dust cleared, revealing bald Ethans everywhere. 
<laughs> there were magenta bald Ethans, curly bald Ethans, pizza bald Ethans, and cold bald Ethans. What are curly bald Ethans? <laughs> Helpless bald Ethans, hot bald Ethans, and even bread. <laughs> Wait, I'm just going to ignore all the bald Ethans. Bread and sandwich supplies? <laughs> Then one of the bald Ethans turned toward the, towards them and made an angry zap, then started to advance. Shit! <laughs> Ethan yelled in horror. Derek, quick, help! Derek! Derek's stomach, tar- <laughs> Derek's stomach started to rumble, and he coughed up the puzzle. <laughs> Oh, a puzzle? That's not much help against bald Ethans. What else do you have? Come on! Derek's stomach started to rumble again. Then he hacked up the inquisitive communists. (laughs) Derek, that made things worse! That was, like, way worse! How is that supposed to help? Derek shrugged and tossed it to the side. The bald Ethans were nearly upon them. Anything else? Come on, buddy! You can do it! Derek finally <laughs> coughed up a picture of Daniel. Oh, <laughs> toss it and get <laughs> out of here. Toss it. <laughs> the bald Ethan's perked up. <sighs> toss it and get out of here. Derek <laughs> threw the picture of Daniel, and surprisingly, the bald Ethan's ran after it. What? They brought it back and set it back at Derek's feet. Derek threw it again, and the ba- bald Ethan's retrieved it. Who do the bald Ethan's <laughs> like to? <laughs> Who knew bald Ethan's like to fetch? Keep them distracted and I'll try to get the portal working again. He looked back down at the rubber duck. That was still in his hand and pressed the button. Uh, it's not working. Um, Don't print more money. <laughs> Nothing happened. He pressed it again. Uh, it's all your fault, Derek. Uh, rats, it's still not working. <laughs> then he noticed... A note scribbled just below the super secret prototype. No, Derek, you can't read. <laughs> In case of emergency, take a bite out of Derek's favorite sandwich, then press the button. Quick, Derek, what's your favorite sandwich and how do I make it? Now, this is the part of the story where the script goes away and where we're going to ask Derek to explain one step at a time how to make Derek's favorite sandwich. After Derek says a line, Ethan will have to do his best to translate. If he gets it wrong, Derek will have to correct him. Okay. All right, Derek. Let's do this. Um, Okay. uh, Okay, okay, okay. So, So you start with bread, but moldy kind so you don't die. <laughs> oh, why does it have to be moldy? This, how do we even get mold on this bread? <laughs> okay, let me do it. Yep, it worked. Wow, it worked. That's amazing. Is it tasty? I'm not going to try it. <laughs> okay, n- then what do we do? What's the next step? <laughs> okay, so you take a snail, you squeeze it, you squeeze the juices out? <laughs> <laughs> and then you... Yeah, okay. Yeah, you squeeze it real good. Get some snail jam. You... <laughs> you eat it, and then you spit it out again? Wait, re-explain. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, you have to mix it with toe jam. <laughs> it makes it more gelatinous? Is that what you're saying? Okay. Oh, okay. Then you bite off... Okay, you bite off a, a lock of hair. Yes? Okay. Two locks of hair. You put that on the sandwich, spread it out, make sure it's evenly spread. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then... Oh, and you roll up. Oh, okay. All right. So then. Oh, gross. <laughs> Derek, this is a kid's show. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I think we're going to call that good. Uh, yeah, you grab a little bit of that. You put it on. Um, 
and then you put the older moldy sandwich bun on, and it's a good hairy mm -hmm. snail jam <laughs> booger sandwich. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> we'll be moving on now. <laughs> okay, back to the story. Okay, got it. Here we go. Uh, let's see. We took out all that, and is that it? No, there's... Back at the treehouse. No, no, no. You have to rewind. Oh, I have to rewind? What did I miss? Sorry, guys. Here we go. You. Oh, more. yeah. Here we go. Okay. Got it. Here goes nothing. Ethan oh, took the nice. tiniest nibble and the Derek sandwich, uh, of the Derek sandwich, and the button began to puke. <laughs> um, <laughs> he hit it. And oh, it, and so everything, gross. everything flashed white. <sighs> Boom. To whiteness. Back at the treehouse, Ethan and Derek lay on the floor exhausted. I guess we can add another lesson learned to the list. Be careful with Grandma's junk when she's not around. <laughs> the treehouse was silent for a moment. Then Derek let out a... a roo. There we go. Then began to hum a tune again. This one sounding an awful lot like Never Gonna Give Up. Get, no, we're going to give you up. So. <laughs> this was still very annoying to Ethan. Derek, come on! Choose a good song! The end. <laughs> it's abrupt. <laughs> okay, good job to Alex and to Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> As you can tell, it takes a lot of energy to be Derek. <laughs> Even Not though a lot you're just by yourself in a room recording, Alex puts a lot into that character. <laughs> and so much of what he does really informs the way the final product turns out. It actually informs the way the animation itself turns out. So yeah. it's really it's really cool working with him. Oh man, yeah. it's been a real blessing to be a part of this whole project. Yeah. We really awesome. believe in it. Yeah, we feel we feel like we uh we found a diamond in the rough in, in Alex. Very diamond much so. in the dumpster <laughs> that Danny was in. Thank you. Yeah. But um, the diamond with, in the dumpster. It, it, it's been, it's Riff been Riff really Riff awesome. Riff but I can't Riff think of. I, don't <laughs> I can't think of a better like advocate for the show and just yeah. a better comedian and actor for the part. And it's really cool to see how much you've been able to expand out into the different parts as well and not just playing Derek. And it's well, just, we all gained a little, little weight during the COVID, you know, so you don't have to bring <laughs> that up there. Thanks a lot, Daniel. Ex but yes, I have expanded. No, I enjoy, I enjoy all the different uh, uh, opportunities I get with uh, with the show. It's so cool. It, it really is. And uh, I, I just, I can't think of a better way to uh, uh, to showcase some of my talents than, um, you know, not being on camera, but also <laughs> Uh, to be able to use the voices that I, I crafted as a kid. I mean, it's just a misspent youth that I'm putting on a microphone now, and I love it. <laughs> That's right. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. Um, any final questions? If you want to hit us up in the comments right now of questions for Alex before he goes. Yes, We've the asked him a few, but you guys questions. probably have others. That's right, and then we'll pop them up. Okay, how did Alex get started with voice acting? Uh, well, I'd have to take it back to my comedy roots, which was prank calling. Uh, you see... <laughs> You millennials probably don't understand, but we had a cool little window between the rotary phone and star 69. Right about there, I was the master. Uh, I could do any voice you want. Wait a minute, what's going on? Are we doing this or not? Hello, hello. Wait, there, you're calling me because welcome to Tony's Pizza. Anything you do, just, oh, I dare say you've called the wrong number. Uh, just any kind of voice and everything like that. So I love doing it on the phone so much. Uh, it just, it segued into comedy and radio and then this golden opportunity. Yeah, you now doing it legally and for money. That's that's a nice trade-off. <laughs> People don't send you <laughs> as much hate mail as before. I'm supposed to be getting paid for this? <laughs> okay. Um, okay, did you ever think you would voice a raccoon on a kid's show? Absolutely. From the day I was born, that was my number one goal. From the moment I popped out from a C-section, which is interesting because now I have to leave the house uh, using the window. Uh, I knew... I knew that one day I'd be voicing a, uh, a reckless trash panda on an internet TV show. So I, uh, you know, you got to manifest, kids. You got to see a dream, put your blinders on, and... That's right. Okay. Um, what Carpe diem. What are two more for Derek. <laughs> Carpe okay. dumpster. Carpe dumpster. What is the next episode you want them to create? 
Okay. Oh, creative input uh, here from Alex. This is going to be interesting. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know if it's an episode, but I've always thought it would be interesting if we had little short, little 30 second, maybe even three minute snippets of Derek's dilemmas. Mm. Uh, you know, what is he doing when everybody else is asleep? What is, you know, when you don't see him on screen, where is he? What's He's got to be getting into some kind of mischief. And I think it would be kind of fun. Maybe we could have him learn lessons that we could also teach the kids, but it would be kind of, it'd be like the old chaplain style pantomime. Nobody can hear it. You just yeah. see it. And they process, I think it would be kind of cool so yeah i don't know about the very next cool, episode very self-serving uh, um <laughs> from, <yeah. laughs> very 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 kid serving how as well dare you how, how dare that, you uh but no uh that. if you want to talk about next episode you know what i'd love to see i'd love to see um delayed gratification i'd love you to oh. show the kids what it's like to to really think about something set a goal strive for it work for it and then get it we we might like be, they did uh, in the books with the uh with the on art that school. a little bit this season we'll see but uh, maybe not exactly. There's a lot to explore there. There's a lot to explore. I love that yeah, idea. So yeah. much. Oh, did we get another one? Yeah, I think we had another one. Go ahead, Johnny. How does Alex come up with all the sounds he makes? <laughs> well, I have a car battery hooked up uh, in the studio with a couple of wires hanging off of it. And when I really want to get to a place, I, no. Um, you know, it's just, <laughs> it's just a matter of... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right in the ears. That's right. Just right in the ear lobes. Uh, no. <laughs> It's just a matter of, you know, you hear something and you can almost picture it in your mind. You know, like when we were doing the Mad Libs thing, uh, you know, there's a mixture of different sounds. And if you can make them come across, I don't know, it's just watching Looney Tunes uh, and Disney cartoons as a kid and, and loving those voices and those people doing it. Um, you know, getting to meet people like Billy West and stuff like that, you know, and uh, Mel Blanc and June Foray and just the greats of of cartoon voice history. Uh, studying those people, uh, you, you, you learn a thing or two. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you again for joining us, Alex. And thanks for playing along with the game. It was a lot of fun. And thank it you, was. everybody, My for pleasure. participating. And do you have anything you'd like to tell the fans in Derek language yeah. before you go? In Derek language? Yes. Uh, yeah, but it's a kid's show. I think they're <laughs> they, uh... Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Our thoughts Namaste. exactly. <laughs> Thank awesome. you. Okay. Thanks, Alex. We'll see you. Okay. That was a lot of fun. Um, all right. Quick reminders. We still have uh, Golden Gummy Winners. Yeah. Golden Gummy Winners. So if you haven't found the Golden Gummy, and Daniel and I, this is a tough one. We didn't find it. So <laughs> props to you guys for finding it. If you haven't, if you do find it, you can go back, uh, you know, tell us where it is at that link. Uh, just rewind the live stream. Um, I think it's angel.com slash golden gummy mm -hmm. correct me if i'm wrong i believe so um but the winners for the golden gummy are joey prescott congratulations allison marcroft hannah hughes it's a superhero name <laughs> uh jill peterson and jenny hughes so good job guys yeah, thank you for job. participating and okay we've got Finally, oh, we got a little little sneak peek action, sneak peek action, right? We got a vote in. That's which right. One, which one did the audience decide to go with? So you're gonna decide between two options. Yeah. Uh, and this is a sneak peek of episode three that's coming next week, and uh, sorry, next month. Yes. Bitcoin and the Beast. So there's two options here. Uh, and what the are Ruby. the two options? Right. It's the. Am I am I mistaken? That's right. Okay. There's seashells scene uh -huh, mm -hmm. and ruby treasure scene. So if you right. haven't already, vote in the comments. I know we said that earlier, but do it again right now. Oh, ruby treasure is winning. Like we ruby. don't even, it's, it's already, it's the, the battle's already over. <laughs> All right. All right. Ruby treasure. We'll go with ruby treasure. And then do we have one on that? That's the, that's the bonus okay. clip. Yeah. Cool. So, All right. All right. Thanks, let's everybody. Let's watch ruby treasure. Let's watch. We just need 20 more rubies, Emily. Then we can leave. That creepy dot is getting closer! Who, me? <laughs> ah! It's a... 
Pizza! Oh, yeah! A rock? <laughs> I'm sorry, how is that scary? What? Rocks are super scary. We chip windshields, we get stuck in shoes, and sometimes wrestle. I'm what they call a triple threat. Now hand over the rubies or I'll be forced to do this. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that how you think rock stars dance? What's the matter, can't handle my geological gyrations? <laughs> can't you just threaten our lives? Yeah, fine with me. <laughs> Let's go! You got wheels, but this rock can roll. <laughs> yeah! oh, not the face, not the face, not the face, not the face, not the face. Uh, how is he so fast? Uh, uh. Emily! <gasps> I got you now! Legends have only whispered of the great ruby treasure hidden here. <gasps> next month, next Tuttle Tuesday. And Tuesday. we're also going to be uh, announcing something pretty big next Tuttle yes. Tuesday. So yes. tell your friends, yeah, grab the family. Spread the word. Spread the word. Tune in. You don't want to miss it's gonna out. It's going to be one of our biggest. Yep. Just a final reminder, uh, at TuttleTwins.store, we have the Taxes Stink Sale. Oh. An amazing deal on the complete book set, as well as for Ethan and Emily plushies. So go and grab yours. a reminder, you're going to get free stickers and a free patch. A place to go, people to see comics to offend when you buy uh, this for $99. And, uh, yeah. Awesome. Okay, thank you for joining us, guys. We'll see you on the next one.